Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to download and install KeyPass Password Safe. I don't know if you're like me, but I visit lots of websites, I have lots of logon names, I've got to remember so many different passwords and it's a bit of a pain. There's many utilities out there, some free, um, some are okay, um, but the one I found the best is KeyPass. It's open source. It uses 256-bit AES Tollfish encryption. It's free for Android, Windows, most devices. And yeah, it's really easy to use. So let's download and install it on my Windows 10 VM. So I'm just going to go to Google. And I'm going to search for KeyPass. This is their site. And I'm going to click Downloads. I'm using Windows 10, so I'm going to download the installer for Windows 10. You can put it on a portable USB drive. Really, really easy. So just click Download. Yes, I accept. Just waiting for the download now. Here's the timer. And I'm only going to install it on this machine, so I'm just going to select the run option. Depending on the speed of your broadband is how long it takes to download. Mine is quite quick, so there you go. It's already downloaded. It's only a small file anyway. And do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Ideally, yes, because we're installing it. And English. But before I click OK, I'm going to shut the web page because it's already downloaded. And yes, I'd like to close all tabs. I would like to point out before we install it, it doesn't come with any adware or any random pop-ups offering for you to buy certain things. It is literally open source and it does what it says on the tin. So we're going to install this in English, so click OK. Yes, I accept the agreement and click Next. And just go with the defaults. And create a quick launch and a desktop shortcut and click Next and install. It's nearly done. Okay, I'm not going to launch it, so I'm going to take the tick away from this checkbox and I'm going to click finish. What I do, I have a spare hard drive in my computer. You might have a USB drive or whatever. Um, so on here, I'm going to create a new folder called KeyPass Backup. And this is where I'm going to store my files in here. So I'm going to run KeyPass for the first time. Enable automatic updates. Yes, why not? And I'll just maximize this screen so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Right. As you can see, there is absolutely nothing here whatsoever. So we need to create a new KeyPass database. It's not as daunting as you think, so don't worry. So it's just file new new database yes please click ok and what do you want to call it and where do you want to store it well i want to use my backup drive <clears throat> so here's my backup drive and if you remember i created a folder called key pass backup so i'll double click on that and i'm going to call this my key pass and click save. Obviously you can name it whatever you want. Now master password is got to be quite secure um, because obviously this is going to store all of your web website names, passwords, anything you want to put in there, whether that's routers, switches, anything at all. So I'm going to enter mine now and just enter it again. 
and I'm going to click OK. Obviously, it was good enough. It didn't say it's not weak. And my database name, I'm just going to call it my underscore DB. And I don't need to put a description. You can if there's multiple users. Um, you can put it in here, or if there's a specific business you're looking after, you can use it for business, then fine. Um, I'm not going to bother, so I'm just going to click OK. And I don't want to print an emergency sheet. You can, and it'll tell you how to get back into it, things like this. But if you forget your password, you can forget it. You won't get back in. So let's click Skip. Right, it comes with two samples. So if I just double click on one of these, You'll see title, username, and your password, and keypass.info is the website. So let's say we wanted one for hotmail.com. You can either put it in general. So if you click on general, come over to the right-hand side, right-click with the mouse button, and add entry. Or you can click on general, right-click, and add a group. So if I click add groups, and I'm going to go my websites, and press OK. And in your one of the websites I use all the time is hotmail.co.uk. So in this window, I'm going to right click, add entry, and the title is going to be Hotmail. My username is going to be demo at hotmail.com. Obviously, this is fake, so please don't try this in the, the Hotmail website. <laughs> and my password is going to be password. And URL is going to be https www.hotmail.com. You can put notes in here, like my Hotmail account or whatever. <clears throat> you don't need to. Um, so I'm going to just click OK. And there you are. You can see it. So if you go to the hotmail.com website now, when it asks you for a login, you open up your key pass, right click on here copy username, paste that into the website, same for the password, right click, copy password, paste into the website. If you want to make any alterations or when you update your password, just double click on the file and you can go in and change it. If you want to view your password, just click these three dots here. And that's basically it. So you clicked OK, we've made our entry. Now, before you close key pass you must save what you've done so just under edit you'll see by here click save that's it and then if you want to lock it because you're going to work on it in five ten minutes or whatever just click the lock that'll lock it it'll go down here double click it'll open back up you'll have to type in your password again this is your master one and click ok if you was to create a new entry, um, for argument's sake, Gmail, and again, we'll just have demo at gmail.com. Password, again, we'll put password. And password. And just type in the website. Click OK. Now, if I don't save and close it, I get this warning. If you don't click Save Changes, your, all the changes you've made will be lost. So I'm going to just discard and close. If you notice now, it's completely closed. So if I open back up, enter in my password again. And you can see, yes, the Gmail is gone. If you want to make another one, for argument's sake, like under network, um, a good one I find is add group is BT router. If you're on BT, if not, it would be AOL or something like this. And you can right click and add a new entry. So this would be BT router login, username, for argument's sake, you know what BT are like with their random numbers. We'll just say it's that because you never ever know. 
we're going to pretend the password is password again, just for the sake of it. If you do get this wrong, so I'll put a different digit in and click OK, it will warn you that you've done it wrong. So make sure you put it in correctly. You can click this button here after you've typed it in once, but I always type it in tw uh, twice to be sure. If you don't know the IP address of your router, you can find this out by right clicking on the Windows icon in the bottom left, go into Run and type in CMD. This will bring up a black box. Now type IP config and press enter. Your router address is your default gateway, which is here. And as you can see, ours is 192.168.1.254. So if I close that, I now know that my login is 192.168.1.254. And you could put a description in here saying BT Home Hub 6 for argument's sake. Click OK. Click Save. And if we just close that now, if you notice, it didn't ask us if we wanted to save because we did save, which is a good thing. Open it back up. Enter my password. Press OK. And there's my entries there. Absolutely fine. If you want to delete them, just right click and delete entry. Yes. If you don't want this group anymore, delete group. Yes. And just save. That'll save all your changes. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.